The dirt path starts by the roadside, next to a bus-ridden holy site on the Galilee shore. It winds up a mountain covered with wild oats and thistles. Each year, thousands of pilgrims make their way up the path to visit an ancient stone church and other sacred sites linked to Jesus' life. What's special about this trail is that it gives everyone the possibility to actually follow the steps of Jesus. 2,000 years ago, Jesus didn't uh, travel on a coach bus. He didn't come by an uh, airplane. He walked from village to village, from community com to community. The Jesus Trail hopes to encourage thousands of tourists to follow in his footsteps, to hear the songbirds and smell the wild dill as they reflect along the way. Well, I think for Christians, um, Jesus calls them to follow him. And this is one very practical way that you can really follow his example. And you can learn that Jesus really was living a simple life, moving between village to village, meeting people, sitting down and having meals with them, experiencing hospitality, and um, meeting a lot of their needs as the person who would lead them. The path is meant to be hiked in four days. The trail meanders down to the edge of a cliff on Mount Arbel for a panoramic view over many of the sites in Jesus' story, including Capernaum, the fishing village that was the center of his life. The bigger moments on the trail for me were when you come up on a hill and the whole day you're approaching and approaching the hill and then at at the end you finally get to the top and then you have a new view like like here when we walked up and then at the top then we can see um, all of the Galilee region where uh, almost all of Jesus life was played out in this area behind me here. There's no cost for traveling the Jesus Trail if hikers stay in tents. A local bed and breakfast will cost approximately a hundred dollars US each night. And tourists don't need to be followers of Christ. The scenery and natural beauty along the trail will attract all comers.